Well, it's deer hunting in Minnesota. So join us as we explore the Superior National Forest public land, see if we can find some deer. Let's go. How close I can get to this thing. <laughs> There's another one. Where? Oh, yeah, right there. <laughs> Are you the two that we flushed earlier? That was way down below. Yeah, they're both big. Look at that. What's that, 20 feet? Yeah, not even. Hi, I don't mean to bother you, but if you could tell me where the deer are. Excuse me, the deer. Is your buddy up there know? Do you know where the deer are? Oh, at the bottom of the barrel, yeah. Oh, I threw a memoir. Yep. Oh, I don't have any of those. You could have found the better food for me. Sure. I, I was should. just thinking the same thing. The five will be really good. Uh, this, this, oh, I'm going to take that. Um, uh, my five is more just for the record. I'm sure it's going to hold up. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, well, it's a little before six, and we're getting out, heading out to sit in a tree all day. It's, it's probably about 15 degrees and cold and crisp, and there is not a cloud in the sky and probably not a deer in the woods. We shall see. Opening morning of deer hunting in Minnesota, 2023. Uh, just took the four-wheeler, parked it to where I get to walk 
about a quarter mile through the woods to the tree that I'll be sitting in all day. It is pitch black, but there are some stars out there and hopefully some deer. Stay tuned. I don't know if you can see the stars, probably not. There's a few in there. Some of the darkest skies in the world up here. As the crow flies are only a few hundred meters from the border of the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness. So, not much up here. It is dark, it is quiet, and who knows what kind of creatures are roaming around these dark woods. Uh. This is my 20th season walking through some noise walking through these woods to get to this tree and I probably made this walk a hundred times probably more than that and I still almost get lost every single time because it is so thick and it's so dark thankfully we have a little bit of snow I didn't see my tracks from yesterday when we came in, but otherwise, many times I get here, I do have a track on my GPS. Sometimes I just have to stop and fire it up and look, because if I walk the wrong way out here, I'll be walking for a long time with nothing. If I head north, it's the Boundary Waters, and it's Canada. Here are our accommodations for the day. Let's get situated. Well, I just got my 25 feet up in my stand and my external microphone just fell off my GoPro. So it's down in the abyss somewhere. Let's hope we can find it. Step on it. There we go. <laughs> Good thing there's a little red on it. Oh. Hopefully, it survived the fall. Back up we go. All right, that's blurry. It's 7 a.m. and I'm finally situated in my stand. No wind, it's cool. It is 15 degrees, clear. And now we wait. Obviously made a lot of racket coming in here. We just gotta let things settle. Sun rises in about 55 minutes. So we're just gonna sit here and relax. 
Wish me luck. aren't happy or maybe they are Well, it's five o'clock and officially spent 10 hours in this tree. <sighs> saw one deer, it snuck in behind me and threw some thick brush. So I just saw the body and the legs and couldn't tell if it was a buck or a doe. And even if it was a huge one, I wouldn't have had a shot at it. It was pretty thick. Just stopped snowing, it was snowing for most of the afternoon. Lots of squirrels, lots of grouse, a few woodpeckers, but not a lot of deer. And I'm cold. It's going to be dark here in about a half hour, so I'm going to start hiking out. Maybe tomorrow, tomorrow morning will be better. That's where I was standing all day. Or sitting. A little bit of both. About 22 feet up. All these you're getting out here. Daylight. <sighs> My dad used to have a ground blind on this rock before all these pines grew. It's supposed to be a clear cut. Shot quite a few deer out of here. I shot my first deer in these woods from right here. I was having lunch, sitting in my dad's blind. He went back to get more ammunition, I think. He had missed a few or something, I can't remember. And I shot a small deer. And then next weekend, I shot two big bucks in that tree. Four mile from the four wheeler to the tree. I don't see any fresh tracks. Doesn't look like anybody's walked the trail. Burr. in the morning November 5th 2023 it's Sunday morning second day of Minnesota deer season 
back in my tree. Notice we lost an hour because of daylight savings time, so, but I'm actually a little more efficient because I got here about 20 minutes earlier than yesterday morning. Maybe we got up at the same time, so I'm getting more efficient. I'm gonna hunt for about four hours this morning and then hit the road, so. Guys at the camp saw quite a few deer yesterday, no antlers. But uh, at least it's promising that there's some deer around. I just saw the one. My dad saw five deer, but he thinks it might have been duplicates. So, and then uh, we got Mark, Tom, and Lee. Lee's not really hunting. He didn't get a license, but they saw some deer too. So we'll see what happens this morning. It's a little warmer. It's about 21 degrees. A little bit of a wind though, right in my face, which. It's good for the deer as far as them not smelling me, but it's going to cool me off a little bit, so Let's see how she goes. Well, it's second week of deer camp, as they say, in uh, northern Minnesota, and I just decided to come back, even though last weekend I didn't see anything. So it's just really good weather right now. It's like 30 degrees, sunny, and there's snow on the ground. So I thought, well, I'll just walk around the property a little bit, walk around. And uh, I walked up to my stand, and then we have a trail camera. And uh, I was I walked to the trail camera. There were no tracks in the in the snow, so I was a little you know, thinking there weren't gonna be many deer. So I was at the trail camera and I took the chip out and I have this little handheld thing to look at pictures and I was trying to figure it out and I heard a crashing noise and I looked up and a deer was running right towards me and then it stopped behind a big deadfall. So I couldn't see it. I didn't know what it was. And so, but, and so I stood there leaning against this tree in the wide open with my gun pointed in the area where I saw this deer for two or three minutes and nothing was moving. And at a quarter of my eye to the right, I see another deer, maybe 50, 60 yards away through this thick stuff. I mean, you can see how thick it is in here. And I, I pull a scope on it and I'm looking and you know, I can see the deer, but I can't tell if it's got antlers because we can't shoot does here. And I, and I kind of pan over in the thick stuff and I see antlers. I'm like, oh, but it's just too thick to shoot. So I kind of look up a little bit and um, I find one little kind of opening in the in the trees and I kind of the direction it was headed and I put my scope there and uh right as the deer came in into the opening I shot and I didn't know if I hit it I honestly was a little worried that man was I sure it had antlers uh <laughs> you know and so I heard it run off I texted my dad let him know uh, that I had shot at something and I walked over to about where I saw it and I saw the tracks in the snow and but didn't see any blood so well i must have missed them and i kind of followed the tracks a little bit and this is what we got oh, a nice six pointer definitely mature deer probably i don't know 150 160 pounds maybe a little bit more it's probably gonna feel heavier than that as i try to drag it out of this this stuff it's gonna be a beast but persistence pays off and there are some deer in these woods So I just, uh, so I'm standing by the camera here now, my trail camera. This is where, this is where I was standing. I saw a deer. Basically, if I'm looking right, yeah, it ran right underneath my stand. I should look, I'm gonna go look at that actually. The first year I saw my stand, I don't know if you can see this. My stand is right over there about 50 yards. And there's a downed tree closer to the stand that the deer I first saw went right behind there and then over this way through all that thick stuff oh wait a minute no actually I think I think it was this way maybe yeah this is where I saw the one deer and then when I shot the one it was way back there but this is what I want to point out I finally you know so I'm waiting for my dad to get here and uh, and uh, 
I just looked at the pictures. There hasn't been a deer that's walked by this camera all week. There's a picture on the 3rd of me putting it up, and there's a picture of me today on the 10th putting it, you know, grabbing it again. Not a single deer has walked by here in a week, and I just shot a deer. So that's crazy. Oh, our house. Oh, making the gravy. Got pasties for supper. Hey, don't forget the old mill. Old mill for dessert. <laughs> That's can cakes. Yeah, can cakes. Can cakes. <laughs> Just another night at the shack, and we got the nice snow falling well, outside. After a week and a half, we now have hot water. So, so, what was the end result? What Almost like Christmas. Gravy's going to be great. Okay. Yeah, it's such bad leg cramps up. It's going to be nice to be a little thinner, but these still flavor for some reason. And moisten it a little bit. Where's the balloon from? Oh, that happened. Lost up here in the past sometime. Yes. Mine is so easy. That's the that's 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 go-to. Can, yeah. can I ask? Because... Ooh. Oh, I like this game. Ooh. <laughs> what a game! Uh, seven yeah. for low! I don't know which one hurt worse, but anyway. Saturday of the third weekend. It's about 11.30. Sat in my tree since half hour before sunrise. Didn't see any deer, saw squirrels and woodpeckers and Canadian jays and did watch a grouse for about 15 minutes. Just stopped and talked to my boy and my dad and they haven't seen anything so I'm walking back to the shack maybe I'll see something and they're gonna be behind me probably 30 minutes on the four-wheeler and then uh, I think this afternoon I'm just gonna do a little bit of walking just walk our property so I'm walking on this dirt road and we own a 40 acre parcel that way and our cabin is on, as a lease on a county county land that way. And we're about a quarter mile away from, the cabin's about a quarter mile away from our property. But then my dad and I have always hunted on the other side of the road. We've done pretty well, and this is state land. So, but I'm gonna walk around the, the family property this afternoon, see if I can see anything. It's really a beautiful day. You can see, I can't even see. It's, this is like the video, I'm at the beach in Miami where I can't see because it's just so bright and hot, except it's 30 degrees. And, you know, not 100 like in Miami. But it is really a beautiful day. There's a little bit of wind, not too bad though. I'll probably work up a sweat if I walk too much. 
so I just gotta take it easy. See what you can see. Over and out. Let's little walk in the woods. Demolishing them. Yeah, right. See these doesn't, ones. Doesn't matter there. Doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, right. Last morning in the stand. Sit for a couple hours, see if we see anything. It's perfectly still. It's about 23 degrees. the season it's about 10 o'clock Sunday morning last day just about to climb down from my stand another bright sunny day it's been very sunny this season which is not common for November in Minnesota didn't see anything today I did hear what I'm pretty sure was a deer off to my right but if you look it's pretty Thick. Can't really see anything that way. So whenever it was over there, I didn't get a look at. It. Definitely wasn't a squirrel or a rabbit. It was something big. But well, there's always next year. Part of the fun of deer hunting is preparation for next year. So we'll see what we do, if anything, on the land and. You know, just think about ways to have an even better time next year or so. I think next year Mark's going to actually hunt. We'll get him a license and stick him in one of these stands and see if he can't get one. Hopefully we'll have a mild winter and so the deer population will bounce back a little bit. Well, and until next time, see you later.